G'day aspiring engineers, let's do part number, yeah that's it, part number 9 of 16. Uh, by now you're getting better at sketching. Uh, you're starting to understand dimensional constraints and you're beginning to get the hang of those geometric constraints, I'm sure. But are you starting to remember some of those keyboard shortcuts? I'll remind you of a few today. From here on, from parts 9 through to 16, it starts to get just a little bit more interesting. Stick around. So have you got the 16 part drawings? The link is below in the description. If you haven't already, click subscribe and start your career in engineering. Okay, let's get on with it. Part number nine in Fusion 360. Let's turn on the origin uh, of the uh, document. Right click high up on the screen, mouse down to sketch, create sketch. Then select a reference plane, hit the L key for the line tool and let's start drawing our our sketch. There's a bit of a curve here, some straight lines, and let's mouse over the point of origin so that we get some tracking points. So we get the horizontal and vertical tracking point, and then mouse over the end of our sketch. Once we close the loop, it colours it in and indicates that we have a closed loop. Hit the S key and get the Select tool back again, and let's select the point of origin of this curve and the point and hold down the shift key and get the point of origin of the document and choose the coincident constraint causes it to jump out onto that coincident alrighty so first of all let's uh, get the D key and put a dimension on our curve here and that has a radius of 10 let's use the C for circle to put a circle in there make it any size you like use the D key for the dimension tool and let's make that a diameter of 12. Then let's uh, get the select tool back again and make sure that this line and the curve, shift key to select more than one, has a tangential constraint on it. Then we want to have a line, alpha line. Oops. Make sure that we've... Uh, there we go. You might have to hit the escape key and select the document if you got out of it somehow. So uh, from the point of origin of the document, I want a straight line, horizontal. Hit the S key to get the select tool. Select that line. Let's make sure that it's uh, constrained to horizontal. And also, let's select it again and turn that into a construction line. You notice that it has a dotted line style now. Let's get the, uh, the line tool, hit the L key and then uh, let's draw that other feature that we have down here click and drag to get the curve and finish it off at the base point there what I want to do is uh, select using the select tool the point of origin and also hold down the shift key and select that horizontal construction line and make those coincident then we need the trim tool which is I've got it on my shortcuts menu and if you don't have it there Type in trim on the type in trim down here. You'll see it uh, in the list. If you don't have it in there, it'll have a little up arrow which will put it in that menu for you. Otherwise, uh, I'm just going to grab that trim tool. I've got it there, and trim out this part of the sketch that we don't need. And now a dimensional constraint on the curve that we can see there, and this has a diameter, or should I say, a radius of 10. Now I need the select tool again. I'm going to select the two little bits of the end of the part there, holding down the shift key to select the second one. You see that they've got the little blue shadow on them to indicate that they're both selected now. And I want them to have an equal constraint. There we have it. A few more dimensional constraints now. From the end of the part to the uh, origin of that curve, that should be 20. The length of the bottom of the part should be 40 and uh, then the length from the end of the part to the point of origin of the document should be 80. Another thing we need to do is uh, use a geometric constraint. That means we need the select tool. Uh, we want to get the bottom and the top of the part. Shift to select both of them and use the equal constraint. Then the last thing we need to do is a dimensional constraint for the overall height of the part here and that's supposed to be 60. Alrighty, so our part is our sketch is complete. 
Now hit the E key to get to the extrude tool and it uh, gives you an isometric view. Select the, the sketch, drag it out a little bit, type in the distance for the extrusion which is 20 and our part's done. Now you can uh, turn off the point of origin if you don't like to see that there all the time. And the other thing that uh, I would do if it was me, I'd be changing the view here from uh, orthographic to perspective. I've already got that clicked and uh, it just makes me feel a lot better. The orthographic view does make me feel a little bit sick. So there's uh, part number nine. Uh, practice this a couple of times and keep an eye out for part number ten. See you next time.